Matt is in Spokane, Washington. Hi, Matt. How are you? Oh, not doing real great right now. Uh oh. What's going on? Um, oh, my wife passed away about a week and a half ago. Oh my gosh. And uh, we're still kind of tired. We were in baby step two, and um, I'm just trying to figure out how to keep going on. Wow, what happened? How old was she? She's 33. 33? What happened? What happened? Uh, The coroner report said it was a pulmonary embolism. Oh, my Lord. She had an uh, eight-centimeter blood clot in one of her lungs. And didn't know it? No. She was putting away groceries with our daughter, and our daughter came to get me and told us that Mommy said, oh, no one fell over. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. How old's your daughter? Uh, she's seven. Oh, my gosh, man. All right. Um, and so you were on baby step two, and you said you got life insurance that's on the way then? Yeah, uh, she had two policies. I found out uh, one for 100000 one for 500000 mm. How old are you? I'm 37. Mm. How long were you guys married? Uh, we just had 10 years in June. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I tell folks to do in these situations? Um, mm-hmm. l- let's be very careful to do nothing but cry. Okay. Just just give yourself some room to cry. Mm-hmm. Okay. You you know I don't I don't uh-huh. think I don't think if your 33 year old wife passes away suddenly unexpectedly last week that anyone would expect you to make really good decisions today. I know if that happened to Sharon, we've been married 38 years, I, um, getting ready to be 38, I, I wouldn't be able to breathe for a little while. And uh, just listening to you, you can't even breathe real good right now, and I don't blame you, I understand. So um, here's, here's what I want you to do, okay? I want you to keep food mm-hmm. in the house and pay the lights and pay the water bill and pay the house payment and any other payments you guys have, just go ahead and pay those. But don't make any big financial decisions right now. Okay. Just breathe. It's going to take uh-huh. you. It's going to take you at least six months for your brain to work right again. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah. And and all that makes you is not a bad person. It just makes you a human. Okay. I know. <laughs> N- none of us. None of us. When we get hit this hard, does our, do we think well for a while? And so we're gonna give you we're gonna give you a little time for the fog to clear, all right? And do nothing, mm-hmm. do nothing for a little while. Uh, now, yeah. So just, all you gotta do is just eat and feed your baby and hug your baby. That's all you gotta do. And you got six hundred. Well, and, and you put six hundred thousand in the bank, and you don't touch it for anything. Don't buy anything. Don't travel. Don't blow any money. Don't touch that money. Just forget that it's there for six months. And this is um, this is September, and so we're going to say in March, when the spring comes out and the flowers come out and the grass is coming out again, and it starts getting a little warmer, then we'll start thinking about this. But we're going to take from now until then to breathe again. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, I'm worried because she was half our income, and her last paycheck came today. Okay. So what do you make? Uh, I make a well. It's going to change at the end of this month, but uh, I was making about sixty-three. It's going to jump to seventy-five at okay. the end of this month. In and the you, next you year. can't you can't live on that. I don't know. <laughs> she was absolutely the nerd in our relationship. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to put you with one of my financial coaches that's been through our training, and I'm going to pay for it. It's not going to cost you anything, and they're going to sit down with you and help you put your budget together and help you get on track. Okay. But okay. I think you can live on seventy five. I don't I don't know all your details, but I think you can make it on your seventy five and then let's not touch let's not touch the uh other money until until you until you kinda get clear where you can breathe again. And then we'll probably just okay. you know, what we'll probably do in March is we'll just advance you through the baby steps. You know, we'll pay off everything mm-hmm. and uh we'll you know, pay off the house and probably and that kind of stuff. But we're not gonna do that today. T- today we're okay. just gonna cry. Okay. Is that okay? I think so. <laughs> Sometimes it, it, you know it, what happens is you just need room to cry. And I'm just telling you, take room. 
You got room. There's nothing here in the finances that you're giving me that caused me to panic. There's nothing to be f- afraid okay. of other than okay. we've just got to be able to get our arms around some of the details and keep the household running. But you can do that. And we'll help okay. you do that. We're going to walk alongside you. We're not going to do it for you, but we're going to walk alongside you and be, yeah. be, be part of your healing in this time, okay? Okay. You can do this. And you call me, you call me back if you need any help, too, okay? Okay, thank right. you. I'm going to put you on hold. Stay on. And Kelly's going to pick up, okay. and we're going to get you set up with one of our coaches. So hang on the line with me. Open phones at 888 5225 You jump in, and um, we'll talk about your life and your money. Wow. You just, I mean, I, I, I don't even know how to recover after that. Um, what do you say that's intelligent after that? You can't. There's anything to say that's intelligent after that. Ouch. Unbelievable. If that doesn't make you go home and hug your spouse tonight, then you weren't listening closely. If that doesn't make you say, I'm going to get my financial house in order so that if, God forbid, something happened, then my family will be taken care of. Making sure you have the proper amount of life insurance in place. How much different is that phone call if there's not $600,000 in the mail? Mm, Could be different could be very different but there's nothing to worry about there is there nothing not financially got lots of other stuff to worry about you got a baby standing in the kitchen when her mama passed that's enough to worry about right so that's why you have you know six hundred thousand dollars in term life insurance that's why you have your will in place and that's why both of you are involved in handling the money. Both of you. Oh, honey, you're good at it. You just take care of it. Does that sound like much of a plan after that call? Nope. It's called grown-up land. You're both supposed to know what's going on with the money. He knows more than he's letting on. He's in better shape than he's just hurting. He's going to be okay. But you need to know. I'm the nerd at my house, and my wife needs to know about the money. You're the nerd at your house. Your free spirit needs to know about the money and what's going on. And we have to lay out a plan, y'all. And it's not, well, I want to just live my life. I don't want to think about it. Well, it's time to be a grown-up. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Unless you're living in your mommy's basement and she's taking care of you, then you're going to have to be a grown-up, and you're going to have to take care of you. And, and that's what this stuff does. And because what poor Matt and his family are going through is what all of us go through at different times. In one way or another, don't we? None of you, none of us are getting out of this alive. And so we got to have a plan. I don't want to talk about it. I don't care if you want to talk about it or not. You better talk about it now. Now's the time to talk about it while you can. Where there's somebody to talk to about it. Lay your will out. Go over with your family what the will says. Make sure that's done. Today. Put your life insurance in place. Today. Make sure both of you are on the same page about money. Today. Thank goodness Matt and his wife are doing most of those things. Doesn't make it any easier. Eh, actually, it does make it easier. It's one less thing to worry about while your heart is breaking. You have to worry about your house being foreclosed on while your heart's breaking. That's a bit more of a problem, isn't it? That's how this stuff works in the real world, boys and girls. Ouch. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.